Hey guys, welcome to Fun Over Easy. Today we're going to be counting down the 10 biggest YouTubers who got exposed. Before I start, I just thought I should say that I don't hate anyone on this list. I just thought this would be an interesting video for you guys. And lastly, you don't have to, but if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. Number 10, Sam and Nia. Sam and Nia rose to fame when they uploaded their video, Husband Shocks Wife with Pregnancy Announcement. In this video, Sam surprises his wife, Nia, with a positive pregnancy test. He was able to do this because Nia forgot to flush the toilet and he used the urine for the test. Many people believe this was fake, especially after they uploaded a video saying that they had a miscarriage. And those of you who have experienced miscarriage before, you know, I just, I can now, I can relate now. I have felt my womb empty out. Things got worse for Sam and Nia after Ashley Madison got hacked and all of its members were leaked. Ashley Madison is a website for married people who want to have an affair. An account with Sam's name on it was actually discovered in the Ashley Madison breach and Sam later admitted that the account was his. As you may have seen, my name has been associated with an Ashley Madison account, a website made for spouses who want to have an affair. Um, I did make the account. I made the account two years ago. Sam said he never met with anyone face to face from the website and his wife has forgiven him. Number nine, Steven Fernandez. Steven Fernandez is a skateboarding YouTuber with around 700,000 subscribers. Steven Fernandez got exposed for trying to trick a 12 year old girl into having sex with him and two adults. Steven was 15 at the time, and the adults were Jose Barrages, who was age 23, and Keelan Dad, who was 27. Steven, Jose, and Keelan were all booked on charges of lewd and lascivious acts with a 12 year old. Number 8, Rich Kids TV. Rich Kids TV is a YouTube prankster who is infamous for allegedly pulling off many scams. According to Troll Munchies, Rich Kids stole $4,500 worth of stuff from Troll Munchies and sold it at a pawn shop. Rich Kids TV took $4,500 worth of stuff, stole it from my possession, took it to a pawn shop, and then lied about the whole situation. And then That's a, hey, I just want to know why did you steal my shit and put it on the pawn shop? Yeah, I just wanna I just wanna know why you did that, Andre. Rich Kids TV. But that's just the start. According to YouTube prankster Joey Salads, Rich Kids TV set up a giveaway that raised close to a hundred thousand dollars. The money from the giveaway was supposed to go to a charity or one of the people who donated. However, according to Joey Salads, Rich Kids TV kept all the money raised and bought a Corvette. Dre from Rich Kids TV. Uh, he pulled off tons and tons of scams, and now the scams are catching up to him. And then he stole uh, close to $100,000 from the giveaway saying it was going to charity or the winner. He stole it all and bought himself a Corvette. Joey also said that Rich Kids TV scammed close to $80,000 by tricking someone into investing in a fake app. And he stole, uh, I think, seventy-five dollars or $80,000 from a guy who goes by the name of T. Shook. So Dre's like, all right, all right. Dre runs makes a fake contract, gives it to him, makes a fake bank account, and makes him write the check out to that bank account that was the name of the app, and straight up stole seventy to $80,000 right from this dude. Joey also claims that Rich Kids stole close to $100,000 from an actress that was on The Walking Dead. The evidence is overwhelming that Dre stole $100,000 from Saxon's little sister's safe who was on The Walking Dead, the, the Brighton sex and the girl, little blonde girl that... In total, Joey Salad says Rich Kids scammed around a quarter million dollars. Number 7, Keemstar. Many big YouTubers have been making Keemstar exposed videos, like Leafy and Grade A Under It. In their videos, Keemstar was exposed for saying racist things in an Xbox Live trash talking contest. I'm fucking white, I run this world. You're black, you're my slave. You know how we got the name Cracker? Because we used to have the whips crack the fuck out of you. Because you were Those days are, those days a hundred percent still live on. I bet you well, motherfucker, what are you gonna bet? With your welfare check? Get the fuck off my dick. These motherfuckers hate the fact that they're black. Grade A Under A also said that Keemstar might be a pedophile. Keemstar also once got exposed for falsely claiming that a 62-year-old man was a pedophile. 
I, I'm not calling him. I'm not telling him my phone number. I don't want that guy to bother me no matter what. I don't want his money. I don't want his apology. Because, you know, uh, I know who and what I am. And my real friends know who and what I am. And they stuck by me. Thank you very much for everything. However, the man that Keemstar accused of being a pedophile has forgiven him. Number 6, Ricegum Before Ricegum was the king of roasting on YouTube, he was actually a live streamer on Twitch.tv. While live streaming, Ricegum accidentally showed that he was using a viewbot. A viewbot is basically a bot that gives a streamer fake viewers so they are ranked higher on the Twitch page. It is against the Twitch rules to use a viewbot and if you're caught using one you'll be banned. Number 5, Matthew Santoro. Matthew Santoro makes educational list videos on YouTube and has 5 million subscribers. Earlier this year, Matthew was exposed by Grade A Under A for stealing content from a website called listverse.com. Matthew Santoro uploaded a video called 5 People Famous for Really Weird Things, which listed the same exact people in the same exact order as a listverse.com article, which was published just 5 days before Matt made his video. The 10 people featured in the listverse article in order of appearance are these guys. And the 10 people in Matt's video in order of appearance are these guys. Literally the exact same guys. Matthew admitted to his mistakes this year at VidCon. Exposed. Who got exposed? You did. For what? Great Under exposed you. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know what? There, everybody makes mistakes, right? Uh -huh. So the thing, the thing is, you have to learn from those mistakes and just don't do them again. Number four, FoosyTube. FoosyTube is one of the most popular pranksters on YouTube with over nine million subscribers. FoosyTube was exposed by Danny Duncan for hiring an actor in his uber prank video. Hey, I'm Shane Barbera. I was in FoosyTube's uh, uber prank. Um, it's fake. <laughs> FoosyTube was also exposed by the prank reviewer for faking three other pranks. The Mortal Kombat elevator prank, the cheating girlfriend prank, and the change the way you think social experiment. Number three, Vitaly ZD TV. Vitaly ZDTV is another very popular prankster with over 9 million subscribers. Vitaly was exposed for being in a bang bus porno and he could not even get his dick hard. Vitaly was also exposed for being in a gay porno, but he was just filming it, not actually having sex. And Vitaly has also been exposed by the prank reviewer for faking many pranks. Number 2, The Fine Brothers. The Fine Brothers were exposed earlier this year for being greedy. The Fine Brothers tried to copyright their video formats, which were not even that original, and make it so the only way that people could make those types of videos was if they got some of the money. This made the YouTube community furious, and the Fine Brothers lost over 500,000 subscribers because of it. This outrage made the Fine Brothers cancel their plans to copyright their video formats. Number 1, Syndicate and T. Martin. Syndicate and T. Martin are two very popular gaming YouTubers with over 14 million combined subscribers. Syndicate and T. Martin were recently exposed for doing something really shady. T. Martin and Syndicate were promoting a video game gambling website by making videos of them winning thousands of dollars on the website. Oh, you want it, you fuck- OH MY GOD! Galil, I have never seen- We won already! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Yes! That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>items that they would gamble with are worth real money, so it's basically like a gambling loophole that allows anyone to gamble, even kids. Syndicate and T. Martin never told their viewers that they owned the website they were gambling on. That means the videos of them winning thousands of dollars could have been staged. Also, running a website like this might be illegal, especially if you promote the website without telling your viewers that you own it.
H3H3 Productions made a video exposing T. Martin and Syndicate for this, and they have been getting a lot of hate ever since. Syndicate's videos are getting thousands of dislikes and hate comments. T. Martin was getting so much hate that he disabled comments and ratings on all of his videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like because it motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Also, check out my last video. I think you guys are going to like it. It's the top 10 most expensive YouTuber homes. It's the first link in the description or you can click the annotation on the screen. Invincible.